I can't believe it's been a full year. It's felt like a hundred. Ow! How dare you question the lockdowns? Ow! Don't you trust the science? Actually, Bob has a point. Ow! Why? Originally, the goal was to flatten the curve so hospitals wouldn't be overwhelmed. Not to shut everything down until the disease went away. Ow! But loosening up the lockdowns resulted in a bunch more deaths. No. According to a recent study published in the journal Frontiers in Public Health, the lockdowns had no effect on death rate, but there is a positive correlation between death rate and life expectancy. In other words, in general, places with more elderly people have tended to have more deaths, regardless of how locked down they were. Also, high GDP countries with high life expectancies tend to have more citizens with inactive sedentary lifestyles, and higher rates of obesity, which is a huge risk factor. Everybody promoted masks, but we never put the same emphasis on diet and exercise. Ow. Now you're questioning the masks? I just think it's typical for us to try to throw a band-aid over something rather than address the actual problem. Lockdowners claim that this was all about avoiding shortcuts, but no one seriously promoted healthy living, just shutting down other people's businesses and masking the problem. Ow! That was for the pun! You can't just cherry pick one study that says the lockdowns have no effect. Okay, how about these? If the case for lockdowns hasn't been outright refuted, it's at least disputed. Ow! That was for rhyming. But you know what is hard to dispute? The cost of the lockdowns. One in three restaurants are set to close, labor force participants not at work has quadrupled, in 26 states more than one in five households are behind on rent, food prices jumped 2.6% in a single month, Alzheimer's and dementia deaths have doubled, there's been an 18% increase in drug overdoses, homicides have increased 53%, aggravated assault is up 14%, the number of young people contemplating suicide is at 25%, domestic abuse has increased by 8%, food insecurity has doubled in households with children, and globally, up to 100 million people could be pushed into extreme Extreme poverty. Ow. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to start uploading two videos per month starting in April. So keep that notification bell on and be ready for some fantastic educational cartoons. Thank you.